But if you get into the psyche of your quarterback and you're telling him that he ain't doo-doo, he going to play like doo-doo, and that's what Tua did for the two years he was with Brian Flores. When I heard that, when I heard that, the first thing I thought was Tua sound like a bitch. Mm. Mm-mm. Like he does, and let me let me let me frame this for you. In in that situation where where a coach is getting on a player to that depth that Tua is saying, have you ever heard a player come on record, get behind a microphone, get in front of a TV, and say in effect the coach was picking on me? He sounded like a five year old kid. The reason why I've never seen, and you can tell me if you've ever remembered a player coming out and being that critical of a former coach, in effect saying the coach was picking on him. Can you give me another example of that happening? You probably can't. And if you do, hold on. If you do uh, think back to players and saying something negative about a coach directly like Tua just said about Flores, what you would say about that person, that player, is that he's making excuses. So we're trained as athletes. I'm saying we like, (laughs) I'm still playing football. I was this uh, NFL player. In sports, You are always taught at a little age never to make an excuse. There's probably been situations like this, but nobody, no player is going to come on a camera and say the coach is picking on me. Right. That's what I take from the whole the whole situation. 